Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mohan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add counters in Adobe Premiere Pro. So there might be a number of reasons why you want to add a counter in your videos. Let's say if you're a gamer and if you want to show someone like uh, how many times you killed an enemy or how many times you died in a game. So it is really helpful uh, to have a counter in your videos just to showcase that particular information or else if you want to add the counter like how many times a person said a particular word like that is really helpful as well. So let's get into Premiere Pro and this will be a quick and easy tutorial. All right, I'm in Premiere Pro currently, and what we're going to do is we'll be adding a text layer from the graphics tab. So click on graphics tab, new layer, and text. So it will add a text layer into your timeline. So let's drag it till the end of these video clips. So once we have our text layer selected here, if I move this cursor, you can see this particular uh, text layer. So let's uh, select this one, reposition it here. And what I'm going to do is double click and type one. Layer uh, selected. Uh, you can go to your effect control tab. Uh, if you don't see the effect control tab here, you can just click on this particular arrow button, double arrow buttons, and click on effect controls. Once you are in effect control tab, uh, you can see something called text. Just expand this. And what we are going to do is we'll be keyframing this particular text. So you can do that by clicking on this toggle animation button. Once you click here, uh, like uh, if you can see, added a keyframe here. Okay. Now uh, what we are going to do is I'll be moving ahead in my timeline. And let's see, I died here. And I'm going to change this to, I'll move again like uh, in my timeline, fast forwarding this. And let's say I want to add here as three. And as I do that, if you can see here on my left, uh, it is adding one one keyframe. So if I just play it, now the death counter is one we'll change it to two three and so on so that's it guys a uh, quick and easy tutorial on how you can add the counter all right guys that's it for this video hopefully you have learned something useful and i'll see you all in the next one take care